and welcome back. As today, I am going to be presenting you with another match preview of the 2023-24 season as we both look ahead to Saturday's game as Walsall are on the road again as we take on uh, Crew Alexandra to make, the short uh, to make the short journey to Crew Alexandra. But before we do go any further, as you can already tell, I am delighted to be joined by Steve Patton, who is of course a Crew Alexandra fan. He will be on the channel to discuss his thoughts from a Crew's perspective going into a Saturday's game. Um, but let's finally get into the main subject of conversation of today's video, which is of course the preview itself. Um, but first question, but what's the mood like around the club at the moment going into Saturday's game? As of course you're coming to this one following a remarkable 4-2 win of Newport County on Tuesday night. And I assume you'll be looking to replicate that against the Saddlers on Saturday? Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's pretty positive. I think we were positive uh, at the start of the season. I think everyone was pleased with the business that we did. We brought in about five new players, um, a couple of recognised names that we knew, um, and we knew they'd be good additions, and they've, they've proved to be good additions. So there was some positivity before the season started. And although we began with two draws in the league, they're both draws where we've come back from 2-0 down. Um, first one against a strong Mansfield team, um, and then came back from 2-0 down at Swindon after a very lacklustre first half, and we really didn't didn't turn up. And sandwiched in between was another draw, which was a cup win at Sunderland. So I think the mood was quite positive. And then Newport were a bit of a test, because they pressed quite high, they were aggressive, and they're normally the kind of team that we... Um, we kind of slip up against um, and they, they did. They had the better of the first half, but for 20, 25 minutes in the second half, everything just clicked and we played some really fluent football, the like of which we haven't seen for a while, to be honest, because last season was a bit of a war of attrition um, and it was kind of back to the wall, grinding out results. So it was really nice to see us return to some of the football we, we're used to playing. And, and I think it's probably made the mood even more positive um, around the club, I would say. Yeah, we're going on to one. You just uh, going on to what you just said there about um, you had Mansfield at home first game, which for me is a, a really difficult start for yourself. So it does look as if you've had a, a, a yeah a difficult start, such as Warsaw. Obviously, Mansfield at home um, is a very difficult start for yourselves. Um, obviously, they just missed out on playoffs last season, but to come away from a two 0 uh, loss to uh, bring it back from two two is a good result for yourselves. And obviously, Saturday's game hopefully going to be a good game all round. Um, but uh, moving on to the next question in there, but where would you say Crew's main strength is on the field and what players do you think could cause a real threat uh, for Walsh's with back line on Saturday? Um, probably our threat is, is the midfield players who are out on the pitch. We haven't got much strength in depth, so we, we've lost Connor Thomas already and, and Charlie Colkett got injured inevitably um, during pre-season. Um, but I think our midfield is probably our strength. And then we've got a couple of forwards in in Chris Long, who's a real threat. Um, and we've got Elliot Nevitt, who scored, who signed in January and finally scored his first league goal the other night. And then there's a feeling he's not 100% fixed. He's not looked at his best yet. Courtney Baker-Richardson, who's also a real threat at this level. So we've got some real quality kind of providers in midfield with Jack Powell and Joel Tabiner, uh, another youngster from the club. Um, so somewhere between those two, I think, is where our probably our biggest threat is. Um but yeah, yeah, I think that's that's probably where, where you're looking at the most danger coming from. That's good stuff, mate. And obviously, which does lead me on to the next question, but, uh, which looking at the table from last season, you would happen to score a total amount of 48 games in total from 46 games um, in the league, 29 of them coming from open play while scoring 12 from set pieces. Um, so would you say your team's asset is uh, going forward when attacking you uh, attack with pace and numbers? I mean, last season we were we were really poor um, going attack wise, but this year um, we seem to have kind of returned to the old crew in that we'll score and we'll concede as well. Um, and if, and curiously, until Tuesday night, until Chris Long scored a penalty, all of our goals had been scored by defenders. Um, we hadn't had a single midfielder or attacker who netted until Nevitt and Long scored in the later stages against Newport. Um, so I think we've kind of found our feet a bit more. Last year, we, we didn't score in a ridiculous number of games. Um, so this year, it looks like we're going to score a lot more. But conversely, it does look like we're going to be conceding a few more too. Yeah, that's good, mate. And obviously, moving on to the penultimate question of today's match preview, which is, of course, talking about um, the gaffer, Lee Bell, who did get appointed in November 2022. 
Um, so how would you say he is as a manager as a whole and what sort of football does he look to introduce on the pitch? Um, I think last year we probably couldn't really judge him because he came in uh, when Alex Morris very surprisingly stepped down. So he was left with the signings that Morris had put together and also Morris had been left with um, an awful lot of, shall we say, Deadwood from the previous manager, David Artel, who'd made some quite questionable signings towards the end of his tenure. So I think this year is probably the best time to judge him when he's he's been able to go out and get five players of his own. Um, you know, and he's he's come through the club. I mean, I'm old enough to remember his league debut. So I've I'm personally very well disposed towards him because he's a manager who I remember making his debut, seeing him come through the ranks, play for crew, leave, come back, be part of another promotion team. So I'm a little bit biased towards him, but I think he's he's doing his bit this year to turn us into a proper crew team who will play the ball on the deck a little bit more rather than the more kind of sort of grind out results, sort of more back to basics football we saw last year. I'm really pleased with the job he's doing now. And I think hopefully we're going to see this team grow um, and progress more as the season develops. That's good. Obviously, like you just said there about Lee Bell, um, very similar to our manager, obviously, Matt Sadler, our head coach, obviously had a two or three year spell as a player not long ago. And obviously, um, obviously retiring from football, obviously was assistant manager for about one to two years. And obviously being appointed as full-time head coach last season. Um, so obviously it's very similar in, in um, manager boys. Um, but we are pretty much at the, at the end of today's match preview. But like always, we can't end the show off by having a score prediction, can we? So uh, Matt, what's your score prediction for Saturday's game? I think it will be very, very typical crew. We've got this this whole swave of optimism after the couple of good draws and the, the excellent win on Tuesday night. There'll probably be a lot more people will turn up, be a decent crowd, because you'll obviously bring a fair few up the M6 too. And I think we'll probably frustrate everybody and maybe draw 1-1. One, one. Very similar to what I've gone for, if you ask me. Uh, but for me, I am not feeling too confident going into this one. Um, all of Sadler signs now, Warsaw tends never get results against yourselves. But me, stay positive as usual. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 win uh, for the Sadlers. Like I say, it's going to be a tricky game um, against Crew on Saturday, like you've mentioned. But for me, I am hoping for a good game of football all around, hopefully get the fans off their seats um, regularly. But that does, to, uh, do, that does bring us to the end of today's match preview. Uh, Steve, thank you so much for coming on and chatting about Saturday's game. I do very much appreciate it. Um, and I shall see you on Saturday for the match reaction of Saturday's big game against Crew of Alexandra, as well as the first episode of the On The Road series as well. So do stay tuned for that on the channel over on the weekend. And until then, up the Saddlers. <laughs>